distance to yourself, not forgetting, but for And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show as interleague action. Ready to go? Here's the left fielder, Leading Kyle Schwarber. Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The why to kick the pitch. Off the mark there. And away we go this afternoon. And another ball. No strike. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The wind and the pitch. Strike two. And that's downstairs and outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. This one in the air right field. And it stays fair. Oh, no waiting around right that there. He was ready to the swing it on the first it. pitch. When you right. pop a ball up like that, you Hard don't work. expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Bryce Harper in the box now. No balls and a strike. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. That one misses. One ball, one strike. Good eye in that spot. Castellanos at first, one gone. Next pitch is outside. And that's in for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And now the lefty into center. Right there is Loriano. And there are two down. Trey Turner at the plate. Fifth in the N. Allen batting average coming into this one. And that one is inside. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Castellanos headed for third. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. In plenty of time to first. Out number three. Back here in the East Bay. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Denzel Clark. Now fly ball to right center. Guthrie racing over to make the catch. Now it's Chase Peterson. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That Aye. one's in there, 0 and 1. Chris, when you think about Aaron Nola, he's one of the better pitchers in the National League. And you think about that curveball, really good pitch for him. He was the seventh overall oh. pick in 2014 out of LSU. And he takes it himself for the out. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Guthrie pulls that one down, and that's the inning. And welcome back. And now it's Alec Bohm. And he deals. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Squeezes it, and there's one down.
Bryson stop in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss and a count one and one. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. In there at the knees that's strike two. Out to center. Loriano settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Two outs. Space is empty. Here's a speed threat. Edmundo Sosa. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the slider catches the zone. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next pitch has popped up. Kemp makes the play, and it's out number three. Back in Oakland, and now the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Nola back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Connor Capel up next for the A's. Ground ball to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe stay. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning and digging in for Philadelphia. Dalton Guthrie. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Capel sizes this one up. Makes the grab one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Schwarber, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In the air, foul off first. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here in the East Bay. Go. Now, the Jordan A's. Diaz. The first baseman. Jordan. The pitch. Diaz, Diaz 22 years old, and he's a native of Columbia. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Next offering is down low. This one in the air center field. Guthrie under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Next up for the A's, Shea Langoliers. In there for strike one. Langoliers measures six feet even, 190 pounds. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Snags it on the run. Two away now. Daryl Hernandez up next for the A's. He swings and misses at the oh, first pitch. 0-1. Oh, Bounced out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. Throw is high and over his head. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. To the batter now, Denzel Clark. That's to third. Zips it across, inning over. As we go to the top of the fourth. So here's the Phillies DH. Bryce Harper. Just missed. Oh, 
and it's one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch is outside. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Trey Turner now. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Counts one and oh. And that one almost got him. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. Oh, yeah. He's put himself in a really good spot. 3-0 down. And now 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. Left field, way back there. That ball's carrying. Booyah! Trey Turner goes deep, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. And now it is JT Real Muto. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Slapped foul. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Muller makes the catch, and there are two outs. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Next pitch has popped up, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Jace Peterson. Swing and a miss. 0-1-1. Oh, you know, these A's just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Kim batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That oh, misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. That one ripped. Schwarber makes the play, and there's two down. Here's Ramon Laureano. Grounded out his first time. That's in there. Strike one. And a big swing and a miss. The A's still looking for their first hit in this one. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Way high. Two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Snap throw. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And yeah, the batter now, Bryson Stott. Muller back to work. Just off the outside edge. There's the strike. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. 2-2. Line drive, base hit right center field. 
He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Sosa, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. First time up was a pop out. Up the middle, into the outfield base hit. Up next for Philadelphia. And now the here's a speed threat. Outfielder Dalton Guthrie. Over oh one so far. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. There's a swing and a miss. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Starting go. to go at the 2 1. Appeal down to first. No swing. The 3 1. There's a strike. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Hammered. And now maybe extra bases. Stop. Coming home. One run across. Sosa around third. Cut off. Now a throw home. In there. He scores. And they lead by four. Now on the bump, Randy Vasquez. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. So the batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Guthrie leads off second with nobody out. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the 0-2. Hit hard on the ground is short. Guthrie hung up in a rundown now. To third. Tag. Got him. Schwarber into second, and he's got a double. And here is Nick Castellanos. This to center field. Loriano makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. And now here is Harper. Hit hard, base hit. Here comes Schwarber around third. He'll score easily, and the lead is up to five. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And first offering is fouled off. Runner leads away at second. Outside. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Back up the middle at a base hit. Here comes Harper around third. He'll score. It's 6 nothing. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Yo one. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's going to be Connor Capel. Connor. 
And that's in for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The 0-2. That nope. one missed. It's a good take. Two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Now it's the DH, Lawrence Butler. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Here's a 1-1. Swinging a foul straight back. The Athletics hitless so far in the game. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Digging in for Oakland, Jordan Diaz. And the first pitch oh, sorry, misses for ball one. There's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. On the ground, right side. Oh, and foul ball. Oh. That one misses. And the count is two and two. Yeah. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back in Oakland, new He's inning getting started. And now for the, the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Alec. Vasquez Bohm. back to work. Out towards left center. Hernandez on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And first offering is fouled off. Vasquez, a six-foot righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Line drive, throws to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Edmundo Sosa stands in for the Phillies. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. One one. That's strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Two, Two down, nobody on. In the dirt. Sends it to first, and the inning is over. Back here in the East Bay, bottom of the sixth inning, and now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Schwarber going back, back some more, and it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. And the batter will be the shortstop, Daryl Hernandez. In for a strike, going one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Now batting. Left Back field. to the top of the lineup. Denzel. Now at the plate, Denzel Clark. Hey. And there's the strike. Langoliers leads off second with hey. one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And that misses off the, off the outside one. edge. In the air, left field. Schwarber in pursuit. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Jace Peterson up next for the A's. 
And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. Here comes the 01. And that one in the air center field. And that's a base hit. Comes through with the RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. 1-1 one, one now. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. And that one is out of here. A two-run homer. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 6-3. Base is empty with two away. Ramon Laureano up next for the A's. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Laureano in his fifth season. 28 years old, and he's usually in right field, but today he's patrolling center. Pitch in the dirt, and the count one and two. Some guys love to make that adjustment from a corner spot to center field because in center, got him swinging. He sw we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Dalton Guthrie. And the right hander back to work. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Swings and misses. And the count one and one. Next offering is outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Capel racing makes the catch. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And first offering is fouled off. Lace down the line, base hit right field. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw to second is offline. The right fielder, number eight. So out of the pen comes yeah. the right-hander, Danny Jimenez. You're Gonna be a tough leader. matchup for him right now, here. Right-handed hitters have been having a lot of number success 50. against him so far this season. Daddy. Now it's gonna be Daddy. Nick Castellanos. Peterson under it. And there's two down. Here's Harper now. RBI not for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Harper. He gets the attention to walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Trey Turner with a chance now. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Ball one, no strikes. Schwarber, the lead runner out at second. Harper on at first with two down. On the ground, out to short. And that is that. Out. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. And the pitch. And that one is in the dirt. One and oh. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. And he'll be safe at first. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Out to short. Over to stop for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jordan Diaz. That's a strike. 0-1. One, one.
This one smacked out to left center. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Throw into third, in there safely. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Langoliers swings through it for strike one. Grounder might be two. Over to Turner for one, and that's two. We go to the eighth. JT Real Muto steps in. The wind of the pitch. That one drifts inside. And now two and nothing. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Right handed reliever. Fly ball down the line. Capel has a beat on it. And there's one away. Next to hit, Alec Bohm. First offering misses the mark. And there's a ball. Swing and a ball popped up. Kemp on the move. Snags it for the second out. This is Bryson Stott. Foul ball there. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early, maybe. Swings and misses. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Digging in for Oakland. Daryl Hernandez. That's in for a strike. Nola into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Denzel Clark up next for the A's. And that's in there for strike one. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Hernandez rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. And now just a two-run deficit. He was all over that one. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Jose Alvarado. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And now here is Jace Peterson in there in its own wall. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Here's Tony Kemp. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. First offering, and it just misses. And that's outside. Clark, the runner at third. Peterson at first with no outs. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No advance. Good job behind the dish. In for a strike. Now three and one. To the right side. Diving! And he can't make the play. In comes the run from third. And they trail by one. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Fastball down and in. Good spot to get a ground ball. But that one had eyes. Loriano in the box now. Takes strike one. Strike two. No ball, two That's towards center. Guthrie under it. 
Makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Connor Capel up next for the A's. The corners are in. Middle infield playing back for the double play. They say it went. All ones count. Swing and a pop-up. Turner under it. Makes the catch. Two down. Lawrence Butler will hit next. On the ground to the left. And it's just foul. That was close. And now the count is even. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Tap back up the middle. Stop. They get the force. And that is the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Domingo Acevedo. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And a pitch. Hernandez fires to first on the run, and a quick out number one. And now the center fielder, Dalton Guthrie. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. Looking to start something with one gone. Brandon Marsh. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Chick swing of the first pitch. Look down to third. Nope, he held back. Hard hit, right side. Over to first. Schwarber out of the play. So remaining in the game defensively, Brandon Marsh. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Jordan Diaz digs in now. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Strike two. He goes down looking. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. In there, sets him down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Hernandez in the box now. Takes strike one. That one's in there. And it's 0-2. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this is kind of wild, sloppy game. Close finish. A lot of errors. Defense made this one really unpredictable, but they'll take the win. They'll try to clean things up defensively for the next one. Wow, that was a horrible defensive game. But, wow, we had some excitement. Important thing is we won the game. Until next time, this is Davey B 69 and I'm out. Have a great day, everybody.
Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Six runs, nine hits, four errors. They left four men on base. For the Athletics, five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.